Hey, good afternoon. This is Brian Johnson. Should have seen what just happened. I had phones flying everywhere. Uh, it looks like we are connected, and for some reason, saying my connection is weak. I'm gonna hop off here real fast and see if we can do. It. Hey, what's going on, Laville? All right, I'm back in action. So, welcome to Tuesday nights. Super Brain Edition. Uh, I don't usually teach on Tuesday nights, and tonight I get to, so I'm super enthusiastic. I have been thinking about this uh, information to share with you all day and have some super amazing stuff um, that I think that you are going to find very fascinating and you're going to find extremely helpful, which is the most important part. So, <clears throat> welcome. Here's all my notes. I'm going to be sharing with you the stuff that Yoda didn't even know. And I'm gonna literally gonna be getting into helping you to maximize your brain performance, your energy, your sleep. I'm gonna be getting to, into all of that. Tonight's whole purpose is how to become super conscious. What's up, Tammy? How to become extremely acutely aware of exactly what's going on in your life and what's going on in your world. What's up, Jamie Close, Mark Malacone, uh, Audrey, what's up, my brother from Hong Kong, the Australian. So hey, I would appreciate it. A lot of you know this, and just to make sure, like I'm on a mission to serve 200 million people, and I would really appreciate if you shared every one of my messages. Uh, if you feel called to do so, just understand tonight I'm going to be sharing some stuff specifically that's going to be extremely uh, helpful to people who have neurological issues, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ADD, ADHD, depression, uh, all of that stuff. So we all know someone who's in that. If I could share it, I would, but I don't know if I can from mine. But it's all good. Uh, everyone, ha you all, all have been specifically showing up and being very helpful. Like last night, we hit 698 or some odd people on last night's um, broadcast which was great I'm, I'm on my way to help a thousand people every time I touch and pick up the phone to quote unquote go to work ha because that's what we're doing right now are we having fun or what <laughs> all right so tonight's programming is all about brain programming how can I help my brain to be ex just like a freaking computer that it is? How can I be aware of the powers that exist within my brain? And how can I take everyday experiences in life from the foods that I eat to the people that I hang around with to the things I put in my body to the things I put on my body? How can I understand all of this stuff to show up and be the greatest version of yourself understanding all the tools and the tricks and the things that I use and help my high level achievers just like you? Tonight, I'm going to be sharing all of that with you. So my invitation to you is this, is to take your lid and open it up. What's up, Rodney Gale? Be open-minded to what I share with you because I may share some things with you that are a little outside of your box, and that's perfectly okay. All right, I'm going to go for about 27 minutes, so that's where we're at. What's up, Teresa Malacone Brown? Um, so... Let's get to work and let's have some fun. So for those of you that just hopped on, one of my good friends and one of my guys I used to work with, Rodney Gale. What's up, buddy? Rocco, Pamela, Teresa. Hey, I would appreciate it if y'all would share. That would be super uh, awesome of you. And I appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you tonight. So uh, allow me just to share a little bit with you about me. Not a lot. I just, I'm going to share a little bit with you. So maybe uh, I, you can connect with me to understand why I'm so passionate about sharing this stuff with you and why it's a big deal and why I have dedicated my life to doing this. And this is actually where I go to work. Like right here, I am working. So I appreciate you. So let's have some fun. So currently I'm 38 years young, what's up Chris Clifton, and I started doing this stuff when I was 7. So I have been full-blown health and wellness geek and dork since 7 years old. Like this is what I love to do. Uh, some people work on computers and that's their gift. I am not a computer guy. My tech ninja guy that helps me with all my digital stuff is on our broadcast tonight. Uh, he is the man, the myth, the legend that helps me to get through a lot of this stuff because I don't understand that. That's not where God has blessed me to do. What God has blessed me to do is to serve you and to help you understand how your body is functioning and how to tweak it out and make it function even better using things that are healthy for you and helping you to understand the wisdom and the science behind why I'm saying what I'm saying and why we are doing what we're doing. So with that in mind, my invitation to you is to be open-minded and allow me to present some information to you. 
my invitation to you is to suspend your disbelief enough for me to present some information to you and see if it makes sense with you. I encourage you and empower you to only seek the truth and your divine God self, highest conscious self, understands when the truth shows up. It's a feeling that you get, okay? So I have well over 100,000 hours invested in this stuff and it was never because I had to, it was because I loved it and I was gonna figure out how to make it work even if I didn't get paid to do it or not, so that's where we're at. Now, here's the beautiful part about this. I'm blessed to work with some of the best people on the planet, like some of the most high-level entrepreneurs and high-level public speakers. I also get to support people with Parkinson's and cancer and AIDS, people with ADD, children with little babies that are having lymphatic issues and things like that. Like God has blessed me immensely, and the only thing for me to do is to share it with you so you can obviously enjoy the fruits of what God has allowed for things for me to be common to me and uncommon to most. So with that in mind, let's get to work because we've got a lot of information to share. All right, so tonight is all about maximum brain performance. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, just type a yes. And if you're just hopping on for the first time, please, my invitation to you is please share my post because you're going to help me to help more people and you're never going to know who you're going to touch. So for those of you that have heard my story about how I really wanted to quit doing social media and how I had things show up validating that I was helping people, this is the whole reason why I do these trainings multiple times a week for free is to support you and help you out on your journey, all right? So first thing we're gonna talk about is you know me well enough if you've been connected with me a while is that I love to teach on mastering the basics. Air, water, food, consciousness, our thoughts and our sleep and how do these fit into our life? And when they're off, how can we recognize that and how can we make a shift and make a new choice and change the outcome or our experience, okay? So, first thing we're gonna talk about is air. Anytime you're trying to peak your brain performance, you have got to have oxygen. So the very first rudimentary basic things to think about is this, am I getting enough oxygen? Am I breathing deep? Am I breathing down into my stomach or am I breathing from my chest? Is my nasal cav cavity clogged up? Like I have a cracked nose, it's been busted, it's tilted over a little bit, so I have a deviated septum. So for me, there's something that I use at nighttime called a breathe right strip. That's a little strip that goes over my nose. It is a life saver. If you snore and your sleep is not good, you must try one of these out. And as we're going along, I have a lot of stuff written down. I didn't have Breathe Right strips written down. Uh, God inspires me. He's in the middle of my conversation. I'm going to share with you exactly what I do so you can use it. And that's literally like a $7 investment. And I assure you, if you're having rough sleep because you can't breathe, it's worth, I shit, if I had to pay a million dollars for it, I probably would because it makes 100% of a difference immediately when you put that thing on. So it's not hurry and wait and sit there and tool around and figure out if it works. Like, it works. It's called a breathe right strip. So if you are nasally, if your allergies are kicking in, if you've had dairy and you've had pasta and pizza and those things flare you up, use a breathe right strip. So that's the next thing. If you're eating foods that are making you congested, like processed foods, like dairy, like cheese, and understand... I love those. I wake up in the middle of the night and I have some cheese a lot of times, probably a lot more than I really should, and that's okay. Remember, we forgave ourselves yesterday and we recommitted last night, so check out last, last night's replay. So, smoking. If you're smoking cigarettes, I encourage you, if you require some, some, some support or assistance, let me know because that's one of the worst habits you could have, and I love you no matter where you're at, and you owe it to yourself to reclaim your life. And if you really want to get into some really crazy stuff, check out the uh, audio book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill where he goes through an interview with the devil talking about how cigarette smokes is one of his number one antics to create people pulling them off of their paths. Calling derailing, calling drifting, both of those, okay? All right, so let's talk about number two. This is water. We've got five points we're going to go through tonight. One is air. Two is water. The types of water that you drink do make a difference. And I used to not think, like literally, I used to be a meathead. And I said that, man, there's no way that that clear water is going to be different from that clear water as we drink some Kongan water. So have some. 
And one thing that I'll sure I'll tell you, you've probably heard me talk a lot about water. It's literally the second thing that we would die without. Okay, so making sure that you're getting water that's A, that's filtered. My preference is to have a slightly alkaline, like at least a 7.0 and above. I drink a 9.5. If you go up from drinking acidic water and you start drinking alkaline water, be mindful because you may very well hit a detox. Uh, a detox is something to where you feel like you're coming down with the cold. You may have some diarrhea. Uh, you may have some flu-like symptoms. That's okay. Just keep drinking through it. That way you can push through it and be done with it, okay? All right. Water accounts for about 80% of our energy by taking in nutrients and oxygen to our cells. And here's something else for you. If you're really looking to tweak your brain performance, try fasting. Like I've been doing intermittent fasting on and off for the last two or three months, just trying it out and see how I feel. And I'll be honest with you. I feel really good. There's days sometimes where I don't eat a meal until two o'clock. On those days, I'm not working out. I'll just do some light cardio or something in the morning. But other than that, I won't eat till 2. And it's amazing how much energy I actually had and how clear my brain functioning is. One thing that's really important is that typically when we're putting something to eat or drink or breathe in our body, those things are hacking away at our nervous system because a lot of the times they're not good foods. Now... If you're not having good foods and you're taking in toxins, there's things called neurotoxins. One of those is called sucralose. Sucralose is a very, very often prominent used artificial sweetener in a lot of foods. Do not eat it. It turns into formaldehyde in our cells, in our body. And like, Just so you know, when we were in high school, you probably experienced this. When you had science class and you had frogs that were being dissected, they were kept in formaldehyde to keep them from decaying. Now, that's not good to have in your system. That's called a neurotoxin. There are all kinds of those things in our foods, and if you're not aware of them, they are attacking you. Sucralose is one of them, okay? So let's go into point number three. We're going to talk about food. Here are some brain foods that are really important for you. And here's the cool part about this is that in Chinese medicine, the like heals the like. For example, the kidney bean looks like a kidney. The beet looks like a liver and looks like our blood. The walnut, when you look at it, looks just like our brain. And it actually is amazing for our brain. Using that can help to increase the ALAs, which is the alpha linoleic acid. So if you are on blood thickening medications, Using the walnut can help you to start reducing the viscosity or the thickness of your blood so you can get more flow and nutrients through your body. That is extremely important. The walnut is good for that. Okay. You also have some poly stuff called polyphenols or psychoactive polyphenols, which is a term for something that affects your brain. And these aren't the ones that make you start seeing stuff. This is actually in raw cacao, which is raw chocolate. Very, very, very potent phenol compounds that help our heart and they help our brain function. Now, if you are depressed and you notice that you're having mood challenged experiences, having some raw cacao can make a massive difference on how your brain and how your body feel. Like the Aztecs, which is where raw cacao came from, they used to drink like 60 to 70 percent of their diet came from raw cacao, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Raw cacao is a super food. It is loaded. It is a saturated fat, and it also has great nutrients for brain function, for fighting depression, uh, and also great compounds for heart health, which is important. Okay. Next one I have on here is the goji berry. When you're talking brain, you're talking cellular communication, you're talking fats. Like I just had some coconut oil, and coconut oil is amazing because it'll go straight through your blood-brain barrier just like a carbohydrate will. And it's great because if someone's got Parkinson's, dementia, or diabetes, and what happens is a lot of times because of their nutrients are pulled out from them, meaning they're not able to have a lot of foods to combat the illness and reverse it, hopefully, uh, a lot of times their carbohydrates are pulled out of their diets. So one thing that's beautiful about the coconut is it actually absorbs extremely well and it provides the same type of effect on a mental level as well as a massive viral load protectant. Like if you have are around anybody who's got the flu, who's got the cold or any type of viruses, make sure you have three tablespoons of coconut oil either at one time or over the day is fine, okay? If you have diarrhea, 
This is like this has worked on some of the worst cases of IBS that I've ever experienced in my life, not me personally, my clients. And check it out. If you notice that you are having diarrhea issues, a lot of people's lives are very plagued by that and they can't leave the house because they never know what's going to happen. Okay, here you go. Take coconut shavings, prefer preferably the unsweetened one. Take them and put them in a pan. Take two or three tablespoons of coconut oil. Throw it in the pan and saute the shavings in the coconut oil so it's basically absorbed in its own essence. Now what this does is this will stop the diarrhea. And this is a medicinal dose. So I'm talking like if getting the flu shot is ridiculous. Don't ever do that. I never get the flu. A lot of it's your mentality. Second part is why would you inject your body with some poisons to help it get healthier? It doesn't make sense. Using the coconut oil can take the place of all of that stuff. And it's great for brain function. Okay? Any questions so far while I cruise through and check out some more stuff? I appreciate all of you so far. Or anyways. <laughs> uh, so let's keep rolling. All right? So let's talk about fruits for a second. Fruits are important. Fruits are, are nervous system builders. If you're diabetic, you need to be mindful of doing fruits. And look, here's the deal. Not one person on this call is the same. So what works for me may not work for you. The important part is to be open-minded to try different things and to see how you feel. And then make your adjustments based off of the feedback or what your results are that you're looking to create. Okay, I'm constantly changing stuff. My body is constantly changing, period. I just now think I figured out the equation to get my weight down 15 to 20 pounds lighter. It's taken me two years as a professional to figure this out. Working with professionals, okay? So the key is, is just start. Figure out what feels good, what doesn't, and make the shifts and make the adjustments. It's all just feedback, right? All right. So fruits are central nervous system builders, which means they help with nervous system issues. They help with connective tissue. They help with brain. They are a simple sugar, which means they digest immediately. Okay? I love fruits. I used to not eat them that often because sugars were bad. There's a difference with fruits versus polysaccharides, which is a multiple carbon bond sugar or uh, refined sugars like candies or breads and things like that. Fruits are actually brought into our cell by diffusion, which means they just dissolve into our cell, which means it does not take any energy to do that. Now, you all probably have had this experience before or you have had this experience before where you have a big meal and then all of a sudden you're like, hmm, <laughs> that's because that meal is taking a lot of energy to digest and to break down that food. Fruits don't require that assimilation process, which means they're ready immediately, provided your blood sugar levels and everything are good to go. All right, so let's talk about vegetables. For brain purposes, fruits and vegetables in their organic form, as raw as possible, are unbeatable. Unbeatable. Veg ve vegetables, vegetables, <laughs> vegetables are blood and bone builders. So if you have any type of blood disorders or you're looking to build your bone tissue, that's for vegetables. Vegetables come in play. Like you've probably seen a lot of the videos that I've done on Facebook, specifically on different vegetables and things like that. Look, I have found that God has put his best in our food source. And when you understand what your body is telling you, either through body language or understanding, just investing time with yourself, understanding what that is and being able to go to the grocery store and say, okay, I need a beet today, I require some shiitake mushrooms and I require some asparagus and being able to resolve your issue like that, there's nothing more that I could literally empower you with than that type of information. Wouldn't you agree? Undoubtedly, that would make the biggest impact in your life, in your kids' lives, if you have any, if you're choosing to have some, uh, in anyone that you come across, the more you can empower them with the information and the wisdom to stay out of the medical system as much as possible, I think that you will be doing them the best favor and service by giving them the knowledge to be able to create that for themselves and to pass it down. All right, so let's do this. Got that, got that, got that. So just so you know, you've heard me, you've heard me mention this before. Uh, Nikolai Tesla and Einstein and multiples, like actually quite a few of our previous or past high-level thinkers 
have all been vegetarians. So my, my, my thought to this is I've actually tried the vegetarian route and I do vegetarian foods and I do some meats on occasions and I assure you I feel better on vegetables and fruits without a doubt. Try it out and see what works for you. Okay. Now let's talk about this for a second. We're going to talk about sleep because as I move forward in my journey and my wisdom expands and I understand more, I personally believe that sleep is one of the most important and underrated and not getting enough of, period. People are not getting enough sleep. They don't put enough value on it. And I can tell you that if you're looking to feel great consistently, have amazing energy, have amazing brain function, like being able to remember things and be sharp as a tack, like whatever your choice is, doesn't matter. Sleep is going to be at the very, very capstone of making that happen. If you're not dropping body fat and you're stressed, more than likely you're probably not sleeping well. So what I'm going to do with you now is I'm going to break some of this stuff down and I'm going to share with you some things that I do to help my sleep. And you can more than happy to use them and I'm going to show you exactly what I do so you can use them. Because honestly, look, here's the deal. After you've had a long day or maybe you're in the middle of having a long day and you're like, man, I sure would love to take a nap just to unplug for a moment for five or ten minutes. I'm going to go out on a limb here and suggest that I'm probably not the only one who has done that sometimes multiple times a day to figure out exactly what I needed to do to get out of it. And when I woke up from my nap, my outlook was completely changed. I completely reset, hit a switch, off to the races again. So I'm going to share with you what I do on that note, okay? So sleep, most people don't know this and now you're going to be the ones that do. Your melatonin, which means from our pineal gland right here in the middle of our eye, third eye, it's where you call your third eye, that's where melatonin is secreted and it's secreted from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you miss that window, you're screwed. You're not going to get a good night's sleep. My goal is to always be in bed at 10. I don't watch the news. I don't watch scary shows. My encouragement to you is if you watch the news, quit. Get rid of your cable. Get Netflix. Get Hulu. Get something where you can control what it is that you're watching. Other than that, how many times have you ever felt better after watching the news? None? Ha! <laughs> Me either, right? That's why I stopped watching. I haven't watched the news in probably six or seven years now. Um, another thing, too, is this. Is watching scary movies, if you notice that you're having scary dreams and things like that, your subconscious is still functioning off of the stuff that it saw before you went to bed. That's a very powerful experience because you can also use that experience to program your mind with what you choose to experience. Maybe it's affirmations. Maybe it's essential oils and things that you use. There are things you can do to prepare the garden of your mind to be working for you all night long while you're asleep. That's definitely some more advanced topics that I'll get in with you, okay? So, no news, make sure you're in the dark. Uh, let's talk about a few things. It doesn't matter who it is, myself included, I wake up two or three times a night sometimes and look for food to eat, okay? So I'm not perfect. <laughs> and I am forgiven and I recommit to my nutrition program. I'm doing good today. All right, so here's a couple things for you. Uh, a lot of the people that I work with that come to me have got sleep challenges. So if this is you, listen up. Get your pen ready because I'm going to share some stuff with you that will be helpful for you right now. If you are waking up between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m., that's when your liver meridian runs energetically in Chinese medicine. That means you've got resentment functioning. If you wake up between 1 and 3, that means you have resentment. If you wake up between 3 and 5 a.m., that means you have fear or survival. That's when your lung functions. None of that is wrong. It's an amazing feedback because if you catch the feedback and you make the shift, well, then you can change it and you can go to sleep. The key is most people I have ever come across don't know how to make the shift and they don't know how to recognize where they're at. So they can't make the change. And all of a sudden, they've got poor sleep for two, three, four years their body's not doing what they would like for it to. They're overstressed. Their adrenals are shot. And they're just not a happy camper. This is the deal. There are emotional things that get to be done to help you break through that stuff that you're functioning on that's creating your inability to go to sleep. That's another conversation. And just know if you're waking up from 1 to 3, that's resentment. If you're waking up from 3 to 5, that's fear and survival. Okay? Now... 
Let's talk about a few things here for brain function. And let's talk about a few things for sleep because I think it's important to understand that there are some very important nutrients that most of us are deficient in that when they are improved through supplementation can make a huge difference immediately, not two weeks from now. One of those is magnesium. I started taking magnesium within the last month, month and a half, and here's what I have noticed. I have noticed that my nervous system is more calm. I've noticed that my sleep is deeper. I've noticed that my digestion is better. I have noticed that my nervous system feels lighter and more agile in boxing and martial arts practice. I notice these things. I notice that my legs don't feel as jumpy at night when I don't exercise because if I don't exercise, sometimes my legs are all over the place because I've got all this energy I haven't used. I have noticed that my body feels calm when I lay down and actually ready to rest. Magnesium is very potent and actually used by over 300 different biochemical contractions and reactions in our body, which is one of the most abundantly used minerals of most of our body. Very important, okay? The next one is called tryptophan. You may have heard of tryptophan. If you've had Thanksgiving dinner and you've eaten turkey and you want to take a nap after, turkeys have high amounts of tryptophan, okay? Now, this is important. Tryptophan is one of the number one minerals that must be present for serotonin to be released in your brain. Most people don't know this. Serotonin is actually created in our gut, in your digestion. So if you have feelings that you don't like and you don't hate, that you haven't resolved, and you've got digestion and constipation and bowel movement issues, I assure you, your serotonin levels are also screwed up, which means your moods are going to be all over the place. You're going to be aggressive. You're going to be sad. You're going to not have a happy medium. That's because your body is low on tryptophan, which is helping to produce your serotonin. Magnesium and tryptophan are both very essential. They're both things that I have been using for a little while now and can tell you that they have made a difference on my sleep on my energy levels and just how I feel and function throughout the day. I'm very acute to what's going on when I put things in my body and I do them one at a time so I can see exactly what's going on. Here are the other two. You've heard me talk a lot about acetyl L-carnitine, ALC. Like I work with some people who have serious ADHD, who have serious ADD and coming from a person who is dyslexic, uh, acetyl L-carnitine has made a massive difference in my memory capabilities and the sharpness of my mind and how fast I'm thinking. Man, acetyl L-carnitine has been a lifesaver right up there with DHA, which is a fish oil that I combine with ADD, ADHD for brain function. Amazing tool set. The next one is called Pycnogenol. It's an interesting one. I have just coming across this recently and I've been doing uh, taking it myself and I've also been doing... Uh, PubMed studies on it because I like running everything through published studies so I get accurate data versus what someone's opinion is, right? So pycnogenol is potent. It's great for women that are going through menstrual issues and uh, menopausal tra transitions. It's great for pain. So anyone who has pain and is looking for some type of relief works amazing for that. It's actually even been proven to help with ADD and ADHD, which is awesome. And all pycnogenol is, is it's a maritime tree that grows somewhere in France that has some pine bark in it that works on significant levels, helping our body with anti-diabetic situations, meaning blood sugar levels, working on a pain uh, relieving level, working on an ADHD level, and also working on uh, women who are having menopausal symptoms. That's just what they've been able to study so far. So that's extremely potent. The studies I've actually gotten posted and started using them and looking more into them. So if you're interested in that, I'll show them to you. Uh, but that's going to be a huge deal. And here's the deal. First off, it's important to understand, I'm going to go a little bit over 30 minutes, probably about another two more minutes and we'll be done. It's important to understand that if you're putting all of these bad, awesome, bad, good, awesome supplements in your body and your food sucks, your supplements are not going to work. Supplements are called supplements for a reason. They are not the foundation of what's going on. And... If you are already having a solid and a sound diet and a nutrition program, 
my invitation to you is to try out some of the products that we've just created specifically uh, vitality products is what we uh, did and I've got people messaging me at the same time here's actually our brand new label started using our own products because we got tired of not understanding what was in them so we basically did the research and started creating our own stuff for you specifically and so we can use them so if you're interested in taking advantage of any of the stuff that I talked about tonight, the tryptophan, the acetylocarnitine, uh, the magnesium citrate, and the pycnogenol, you are totally open and welcome to do so. And anything over $50 investment, you also get 15% off. If you have any questions that I can think of, that's there for you. And here's the thing. I would not be introducing products to you if I know for a fact that I didn't feel any difference off of them. The only way I started doing that is because of what I've experienced and I've been using some of these products for the better part of like two years already and figured why not provide them for you with great quality products that I know where they're coming from so you can enjoy them and introduce them in your life and experience the same things that I am. So uh, that's all I have right now. We made it in 31, just about 31 minutes and 30 seconds. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. My uh, business partner will probably shoot the link on our on our page when we're done here. So I'll post the link in our thread and I'll go back and check on everyone like I do to see what you took away from tonight. Uh, so what I would love to hear from you when we break from the call is just type in the comment section what you took away and what you can implement tonight. Uh, and I'll be in response with all of you too. So have an amazing night. And I think I'm actually going live again tomorrow at 8. So I'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Have an amazing night. Hope you got some good value out of tonight. And you know the drill. Remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Bye-bye. <laughs>